I need you to pull the fives on the Carter case. No problem. And the DA needs a report on the chain of custody. You'll get it. And if the Bureau calls one of the Sullivan wiretaps, they're just going to have to wait for the court order. Want me to scroll with the coffee pot, too? <laughs> I'm sorry. Go. Bring your kid home from camp. Okay. Use a sponge, not a wire brush. Hi. Hey. I'm glad I caught you. Uh, th this will keep JJ busy on the ride home. <laughs> it's not that long a drive, Carly. No, well, you know, two guys in a car for all that way, you might end up actually having to talk. Oh, yeah, I hope we'd hate that. So it'll just be the two of you? Or is Janet going? She's working. Okay. Well, drive safe then. I will. I know. You always do. Is there something else? No. Okay. Well, I ought to be going. Yeah, you should. JJ will be waiting. Carly, would you like to come along? Would you like me to? If you want to. I don't force anything. You're not. But if you would like the company... Well, it, I'm fine either way. Then okay, then. What? I'll come along. Okay. For you. <laughs> Just what I need. You're sure you're already pretty jittery. I just have a lot on my mind, that's all. Anything you want to talk about? Believe me, you don't want to hear it. <laughs> I'm sure I don't. Still, if you want to tell me, I'll listen. No, you know what? The truth is, I am really not interested in one of your lectures right now. Or ever again, so let's just not go there, okay? Okay, but just so you know, I'm out of the lecture business, I promise, so if you want to talk... Like I said, I'll listen. Really? Fine. It's just that my life is a disaster. My best friend hates me. My oldest child won't talk to me. And everybody in town looks at me like I'm poison. But aside from all that, what's the problem? <laughs> you know, it would help if you didn't enjoy this so oh, I'm just trying to lighten the mood. It's not working. Okay, I'm sorry. I know the past few weeks have been pretty grim. But you had to know what was happening. I didn't think that Holden would tell Lily about us. Well, if he didn't want it to come out. I shouldn't have done it. Right, I know. Everything is my fault. No, I know. no, not everything. I mean, Parker. No teenage boy wants to talk about a sex life with his mother. He shouldn't have hey, sex life. listen, I agree. But the fact is, that ship has sailed. And what's worse is the way it blew up in his face. But let me tell you something. That wasn't your fault. You weren't even here. Let's hope Parker knows that, huh? He will. Once he's done being mad at the world. When will that be? Oh, I give him till he's about 25. <laughs> Listen, as for the rest of it, whatever you did, no one has a right to judge you. Not even you? Especially me. You see, Jack, that is why you are the biggest problem of all. Wait a second. How am I your biggest problem? Because you keep coming at me with this warm and caring stuff. And <laughs> promises of being non-judgmental. <laughs> and, that's, and that's bad because... Because it proves you're moving on. You have friends. You have a job you love. A new girlfriend. Oh, Janet, this is not my... We, we don't have labels. Okay, so it's just a beautiful woman who cooks for you and wants to have sex with you and doesn't oh. want a commitment hey, for you. It's a tough job. I don't begrudge you. You really don't. I'm just jealous. You have no reason to be. Listen, I know you've had a tough time lately, but your kids, they all love you, even Parker. You just wait. You wait and see how happy JJ's gonna be when he sees you. <laughs> yes. Until he finds out that his mother is on the Oakdale Family Values Black. Uh, would you stop that, please? You did what you did and it's over. Sitting there feeling sorry for yourself is not gonna get you anywhere. You always know the right thing to say. Yeah. I should get paid by the hour. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> let's let's go get our son. Mom, Dad, you came. I missed you so much. I missed you too. You have fun out here? Yeah, but now I'm ready to go home. Well, that's why we're here. You all packed up? Well, not exactly. 
He hasn't done a thing. <laughs> well, I've been thinking about it. Well, think about it a little bit more, please. Come on, I'd like to get home before midnight. Well, why don't you two get started? I gotta go finish up something. Now? Yeah, it's for you. How badly did we just get played? <sighs> well, let's get packing. <sighs> Couple t-shirts, shorts, boxer shorts. Oh, box, boxers. How long has he been wearing boxers? I think since Parker told him that tidy whities are lame. <laughs> Fox? So, hey, come... I'm sorry, Judd. I thought you were a better catch than that, to be honest. I am. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to fit everything else in his in his backpack, because this thing is full. And it weighs about a ton. No wonder that bed didn't collapse. <laughs> Hello, Earth to Carly. Sorry. You were thinking about you and Holden, weren't you? I don't want to talk about it. Just one question I want to ask you. Oh, I really wish you wouldn't. You in love with him? The truth is, I uh, don't really know exactly how I feel about Holden. But you miss him. I miss having someone who's crazy about me, who finds me desirable. You're very desirable, Carly. Thank you, Jack. And you certainly haven't lost your ability to drive a man crazy. Thank you. <laughs> I meant that in the best possible way, of course. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before someone else will be knocking on your door. And you can come over and scare him off? <laughs> only if he isn't good enough for you. Do you think that I could get to be the one who decides that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why not. Jack, you're too good to me. Oh, uh, nice surprise. JJ, it's not, uh, it's not what you think. You were just... I'll just chill out, you two. Okay, it's, it's totally cool that you guys aren't strangling each other. Right. Well, I guess that things were pretty tense when you left, but a lot has changed since you've been gone. Well, I know, Parker, I am me. Here? Uh, the computer lab. They have that here? Uh, Dad, it's camp, not prison. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever Parker I am, you, just so you know, the worst is, is over. Yeah, you don't have to worry about being embarrassed by us anymore. Great to know. So this art project that you conveniently had to finish so you didn't have to pack, is it, does it actually exist? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, here it is. Wow, you made that? Oh. Yeah. Well, that's really nice. Well done. So uh, we're just still a family no matter what, right? Of course. So it wouldn't hurt if I put this picture up or somewhere so it can remind us. Wouldn't hurt a bit. Cool. So can we go home now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, why don't you help your old man with the heavy lifting, huh? Sure. This is oh. obnoxiously heavy. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> All right, get some of that stuff unpacked, and I'll come back later and take you guys to Al's. Sounds good. Oh. oh, thank you. Oh, what a long, hot morning, huh? Yeah. Thanks for taking me with you today. Hmm. It was fun. Maybe we finally broke our old pattern, huh? What pattern is that? Well, either we fight or have sex or both. We never did enough talking, did we? I don't think we did. Maybe it would have been better if we had, huh? We'll never know. Can I ask you something? Are you still angry with me about Holden? I told you. What you do is your business. I'm not your husband anymore. I know. But I wouldn't blame you if you were still mad. I'll admit it was it was tough to get over. But I understand what you were going through. I understand needing someone. I 
just picked the wrong someone. It takes two to make that mistake. Sorry I didn't ring you up, but this may be my last visit, so I thought I'd throw caution to the wind. Didn't mean to interrupt. You're not. No, I was just, I was just heading out. Um, I'll be back to pick up the kids later. Okay. Good seeing you. So, what's this about your last visit? Well, I'm afraid my business at Oakdale has come to an end. Could you just excuse me for a second? Hey, Jack! Wait! You know, you don't have to leave because Neil is here. No, I have to get back to the station. You sure? Absolutely. I'll see you later. Okay. Everything all right? Yes. Ah, oh, sorry about that. So, what's this you were saying about your business? We've withdrawn from the Snyder project, but I just wanted to come by and let you know that the offer to Paris is still open. Well, that's very nice of you. I have to say no. Of course you do. Well, if you ever change your mind, you know where to find me. I do. And I might. But I doubt it.